First of all, I just want to, Dan, thanks for giving us the opportunity to come out here and let our players demonstrate and uh, give me a chance to speak. It's a great opportunity for me because then I get a chance to spend another 15 minutes with my players on the floor. So it's kind of a, a double advantage for us as well. Um, we did. We had a great year this year. All, all the drills that we're going to show you, we're going to work on individual uh, workouts. And our, our kids are all going to move around. And it's not just going to be three kids going through the entire workout. We're going to use them all to show you that our drills can be done with our post players, with our perimeter players, with all the players that we have on our team. So we're going to move them through, okay, as we do this. Uh, all these drills are the drills that helped us have a great year. You know, we finished the year 20 and 6. We uh, were third in the country in scoring, averaging 84 points a game. Uh, we shot 45% from the floor. We had three uh, top uh, 10 three-point shooters in the country by percentage and by makes. We had an All-American post player. So to sit here and stand up here and say it was all coaching, that would be a little ludicrous. I mean, we've got some really good players that have really bought into what we're doing. Okay, and that's great. And the fun thing about our situation is we have every single player back. Every single player. So that's really good for us because we have a chance to improve and get to where we want to get to, hopefully, if we continue to do the things that we've been doing. Just a few things I wanted to talk about, and then we'll get into the workout right away because I don't want to spend a lot of time talking because I want to spend a lot of time just kind of working them out and giving you guys ideas. Clinics are great. It's a great chance to come together, sit down, share ideas, pick up new ideas, and, and obviously help people with different parts of the game. I think they're just awesome. You know, the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to give you my email address and my phone number. So if you've ever got any questions, if we can ever help you in any way, um, I don't want to hesitate to help you if I can. All right, my email address is just my name. It's dennis.hutter at maybillstate.edu. And my phone number, which goes to my direct line to my office, is 701 788 Four six six five, and that's direct right to my office. I've been very, very fortunate to have a lot of influential people in my life to help me get to where I am. You know, we know that we, I know I didn't do it alone. So the best thing that we feel like we can do is to promote the game and kind of give back to the game and help out wherever we can. I was very fortunate. You're going to see a lot of. If anybody knows who Coach Meyer is at Northern, a lot of what you're going to see here is a lot of influence from him. I was very lucky to play in high school for a man that played for Coach Meyer. So I got a chance to meet Coach Meyer, go to a lot of clinics. I got a chance to play for a guy that played for Coach Meyer. And now my head coach's son is the men's coach at, at Mayville State who played for Coach Meyer as well. So you're going to see a lot of that in what we do, all right, as we go through things. And just a few things I wanted to talk about with the drills. Because of the style that we play, it's a little bit different. We're extremely up-tempo. We shoot anywhere between 30 to 35 three-point shots a game, all right? So a lot of our drills that you're going to see are three-point shots, our drive and kick threes, our transition moving drills with conditioning, because that's our style. If we're not shooting the three, the ball's going inside. That's kind of our philosophy. So we've geared all of our workouts towards that. So the first thing I'd like to say is you want to understand adapt versus adopt. You know, you want to get all the great ideas. You're just not going to be able to use them all. All right, but you can adapt all the drills that we have to whatever style you guys do, whatever works for your team. You can run them if you're a half-court team. You can run them if you're a full-court team. You can run them if you're a motion team. You can run them if you're a, a patterned, offensive-oriented team. But you just want to adapt them to work for your system. You know, so you want to modify your drills to make sure they work for what you're trying to do. We feel the single best way to improve your team is to improve your individual player skills. That's the single best way to improve your team. You can have the best offense in the world, and you can sit and diagram the best X's and O's that you want. But if your kids can't pass, catch, and shoot, it makes it really tough to run stuff. So the single best way to develop your team and improve your team is to improve their individual skill, which is what we're going to do here today when we start working them out. Another phrase we have is we talk about a quiet team is a scared team. Our team is going to talk. They're going to communicate on the floor. Everything they do, if they're not going, they're going to encourage the players that are going. If they are on the floor, they're going to be communicating with each other to make the game as easy and as efficient as possible for each other because they're a team. And so they're going to try to function as a team by communicating with each other. We have seven seniors, seven seniors going into their senior year. And we've talked a lot this spring about them about daring to be different. 
that if they want to be a champion, they have to be different. You've got to work out differently if you really want to be good. Open gym, we just talked the other day about lots of kids like to come in and just get up and down, just play, and not go very hard. We talked to them about being different. How do you be different? You play hard. Everything you do, you do to the absolute max, to the best of your ability. Because you're either going to have the pain of discipline, which hopefully will result in the rewards they want to get at the end of the year, or you're going to have the pain of regret, of stepping back and looking back and go, why didn't I, why didn't I? So we talked to them about that. Two types of pains. Which one do you want? Do you want the pain of discipline right now, working hard, doing all the things necessary to get you to become the player and team that we can be, or do you want the pain of regret, where you step back and go, why didn't I? I should have. You know, so we talk to our kids a lot about that. I think it's important you try to be a skill coach and not necessarily a drill coach. You know, we have a lot of different drills, but these drills are all going to be emphasized the skill portion of it. Our footwork when we shoot, extremely important. Our follow through, extremely important. We are very particular about the way our kids shoot the ball, and we want them all shooting the ball the same way. So we work a ton on their skills, passing with the appropriate hand. All right, things like that. Everything that they do, balance. And we'll get into all that stuff. Okay? And then the last thing. We want our kids to prepare, plan, practice, and play like they just lost their last game, which we did. Went down to a national tournament, lost in the first round. All right? We're, gonna let, we're never going to let them forget that because we hope that drives them. We hope that motivates them to continue to play as hard as they can play this spring, summer, and fall to get ourselves ready to be the team that we want to be next fall when we start up again. So we're not afraid to let them know that, and we use it as a motivating factor. All right?